What's up my peoples and it's Leo here with a brand spanking new and I'm the second person in the whole world to ever get one of these is from my understanding because the only other person I know who has this is Prime vs Prime The Transformers Studio Series Deluxe Class Cliff Jumper This figure has not even been out of the box for 5 minutes First thing I did when I got this toy out of the box was rush it upstairs for a review he is a bit of a difficult standard, so I'm just going to put him in a generic pose. There we go. Now with this figure, is absolutely fantastic. My camera isn't really good, so he's showing up a little pink, pink bit. Believe me, in hand it is a very vibrant. Wait! Show. Sure. Kibble. All the way down the back. I'm also a kibble guy. That kibble gun. We use the GP's parts, the arms, the waist, the hips, the focus camera, neck, even the neck should be used with cheap bumblebee. But I don't spanking care. This thing is awesome and you don't question me all the time. I just had to tab its backpack in because it came untabbed. Yeah, let's get into its details. Half a year and 11 days does not disappoint whatsoever when you take a look at his head sculpt. This looks so good and it's not 100% accurate to the movie. I've not watched a movie movie in a very, very long time. But the box art clearly shows his head looking a little different to this. I think the horns were perhaps a little bigger. But nonetheless, the head absolutely looks fantastic. The arms are quite nice too. These are just carryovers of Jeep Bee's arms, as you can see, unfortunately, but that sculpt was fantastic, so to get it again is amazing. You send this on with his arm cannon, which is also inaccurate because Jeep, it's Jeep Bee's arm cannon, they seem to be really a pistol on Cybertron, but hey, this guy is epic. Turn down to the chest. The engineering on this is very, very similar to that of the cheap bumblebee. Yeah, literally Transformers is exactly the same, only that this time it ends up the back and not the front. Turn down to the thighs. Got some very nice detail. Hill and the waist. These are all pieces carried over from the cheap bumblebee. Correction, they were brand new sculpts. I don't unfortunately have a tolerance issue. I do believe it to be a QC issue since me and Prime vs. Prime are having this issue. And for you watching, I do not know Prime vs. Prime, I just love its YouTube channel. It's on the inside. These kibby pieces do bump into each other, unfortunately. Still, this thing looks amazing. Turn down to the feet. This is obviously where Bumblebee is sort of similar to a Cybertronian design. You see, he's sort of got this sort of boot bit around it that he has a Volkswagen. Moving up the back, he is a very kibbly figure. But still, I highly recommend you buy one of these. And he just came out today on the 20th of August 2020. As you can see, see, this is inspired by a bumblebee figure. Carmo shattered towers above it. The, I think these two look great together. I'm rubbing off the Carmo instead of the jet mode, you're asking. Well, Shatter was there when the Hitchcock Mode was cut in half by drop kick. This is the design closest to the Cybertronian design that we have yet. For a side comparison, and once again, here it is next to his original sculpt, the Jeep Bumblebee. Personally, these two look rather similar. Cannons, waist, thighs, necks, arms, engineering. These two share a lot. But I think these two absolutely look great together. I can imagine Cliff Jumper getting mad at this guy and then shooting him down and and then taking down Karma Shatter and then stomping through Cybertron, killing everything in sight, unlike his demise in the movie. 
I'm turning to the figure transformation. I have never done this before, so excuse me, but I do own the Jeep Bumblebee, so this should be slightly easier for me. I'm going to want to remove the weapon, obviously, and then just hit the chest section, pull it down, and it comes down. And let's pull this off, I lift up the head anyway. Pull this back, take the section, untab it, fold this section out. Now I'm going to try to pull the section down. There we go. Pull it down, fold up the rear end, take these pieces, collapse them in. This is very similar to the Jeep will be in there. They're not moving. I don't want to break it. Right. Let's zoom. Right, do it. Very tight there. That was not stressing up right there. That is pins. Take these sections. Which was on to lift them up and just swivel them forward. Take the head, recess it in. This is all very much like cheap and will be. And just bring this up, bring the arms in. Like that. I'll just take these tiny, tiny red sections. And just take these, flip them up like that. Make sure the foot doesn't go with it. Or you are not going to want to flip it up later. And just take this, flip it down, not all the way, I suspect. And just take these, shift these up. Like that. Bring this down. Bring the feet. Up like that. I have watched my response review, so maybe going in the right path. Bring the wheel out, shift this section all the way around. It's clearance. There's a hook that will go into there. Other little things. Go in. You know what? I'll adjust that later. Make sure the foot's straight in there. Just do this again. This around clearance. Make sure the foot's in the right place. Like that. Right, it's coming together. Just take these sections, bring them up. This will straighten out more. Into the leg, like that. Do that for a push. Yeah, this is going well. Right, now I'm going to try to take these sections and tab them in with the rest of the stuff. There it's in. So take this section and. Why did I do this? Hook them under. Alright, so I'm back and trying my best to clip this in, but it's not going in. <sighs> Hashtag still buy this. There, it's in. Just got to firmly clip this in. these and they peg in down here 
Which is like the cheap bumblebee. Oh wait. Yep, you can all over hit them like that. Oh, do you want to... very tight. A little too tight in some areas. Oops. Don't want the camera falling. I had to cut out several camera falls in the stim stinger review. I don't want it happening again. That just meant to take up more memory and make it it a lot harder to upload. Um, about the stinger review, I have noticed a lot of loose joints in the arms recently. Maybe it isn't the most stable thing in the world. I promise if I was a bit bit right about the tolerances but you know it's still good to have fun with try to get that in I'm back and still trying to get this thing in and you know, untap that that didn't go in gonna struggle on camera i'm gonna end the clip and do it off camera finally here is christopher in vehicle mode storage in the gun just gotta reach him go get these tabs and line them up with those little slots in there i'm not gonna struggle on camera again goodbye and i'm gonna be back in a sec i'm not storing the weapon you know why I have actually scratched some of the silver. I got it in, put the legs back in, and it came out. Gun, you're gonna make Clifton a double armed. Not Clifton, but Bumblebee. I need to use my tongue more. There we go. Bumblebee is double armed. Yeah. Sorry. Promise is probably managed to do that. And this is a very nice looking big one. Promise is probably managed to do that. I meant he managed to store the weapon. But check out his review. I will leave a link in the description down below. So let's look at the combo details. As you can see. Sorry about the scratching. My headphones bashing against the wall. You can hear it. I'll just check if I can. Yep, you can hear it. As you can see, the headlights look really good. Not the real headlights, unfortunately. The real, I mean, they are the real headlights, the fake ones are back here. Got the windows here. The wheels. Clear peg and a sort of red peg. And the wheels are all clipped, which I did for And it does roll incredibly smoothly. So, looking back at the detail, looks really good. The back, the different thing about the back of these figures, the bottom looks a lot like cheap bumblebee. So, yeah, that's pretty much it for detail. Very detailed. Especially the grill. Let's get into a size comparison. and don't fall over camera! Here he is next to his original mold once again, the cheap bumblebee. Personally, I think these two look okay together. In fact, pretty good. We never see a Cybertronian car next to a Jeep. But these two look really nice. I'm surprised they actually released a Cliff Jumper before a bumblebee. Uh, Bumblebee's going to be like, now I'm a Cliff Jumper repaint instead of Cliff Jumper being a Bumblebee repaint. <laughs> uh, yeah. And this one even fixes some issues. He's more weighty, which wasn't an issue with this one. This one uh, really does compact, whereas this one sort of folds out, especially the backpack. Keep it all tucks away. And I think I prefer the colour red to yellow, but still GP is amazing. And it's funny how they share a sculpt, but they're completely different shapes. So as far as recommendability, I like them both, I love them both, but I would definitely say 
go with Chris Jumper. He's only 18 pounds on InTheMindToys.co.uk. If you are in the US or somewhere else, I'm sorry I have no places to recommend it for you guys. Maybe Amazon, you know, TF Safari, TF Direct. I'm not even sure if TF Safari is a place, I'm sure I heard Emma go say it. <laughs> These are great things. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. This is a cliff jumper. He's red. He's heavy. He's amazing looking. He is legit. Fiddly but enjoyable. Kibbly but enjoyable. Literally, all of the flaws in this toy don't bug me. I was saying, oh, the car mode superior than Cliff Jumper. It's so much better than the robot mode. Promise, promise that I was one of those people nitpicking the robot mode and not nitpicking the vehicle mode. But honestly, Promise Prime on channel rocks. So, this. So cool. That was my review on CSU's Cliff Jumper. And I just had to cut the camera falling. So yeah, if you want to see this cliff jump up, over. Let's do the skit and the outro. My name is Cliff Jumper, member of the Autobot Resistance. And to save my life, like and subscribe. Or this moron is going to kill me. <laughs>